Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin and today I'm doing a tag video. I was tagged by Just the Book Freak to do the 1001 book tag. The original tag video was from Miss Reads A Lot and so I will have Jess's video and Miss Reads A Lot's video down below. And so you know me, not prepared, but do I have my questions? I do. And so we're just going to get right into it. First question is 1001 lists. Do you follow any book lists? It can be a prize list or a challenge like the Roy Gilmore challenge. I used to follow the Booker prize list. And so I would try to read the, not the long list because I was never going to make it through all of those books, but the short list of those books. And I never did it. I thought about doing it from like reading all of the shortlisted nominees from the year that I was born. Maybe I'll still do that. Well, I don't know, we'll see. But other than that, I don't really follow any other lists. Question two, approximately how many physical books do you currently own? How many eBooks? I know the exact answer because I just started using this app, Book Buddy, thanks to Jashana who mentioned it. And I have scanned every single book that I own in my house and I have 248 books. 122 of those are unread. If you wanna find out how I know this, you can look at my bookend series. 248 books, physical books are in my house. Now, how many eBooks? I don't know. I would say maybe like, there's, there can't be any more than 50. I don't have more than 50 eBooks. I just don't use my Kindle as regularly. So yeah, there's not a lot. A thousand and one books read. Approximately how many books have you read in your lifetime do you keep track? I started using Goodreads in 2013. I don't know that I was keeping diligent track of the books that I was reading since then, but according to my Goodreads, I have read approximately 500 books. So that doesn't account for the books that I read prior to Goodreads, like from childhood and middle school, high school, college, grad school. That's a lot of books. I'm gonna go, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to calculate how many books I would have read. A lot, I've read a lot. And currently, am I keeping track? Yes, in a lot of ways. Um, I have a reading journal. If you want to see my digital journal from this year, it's linked somewhere. Or I keep track on Goodreads and I'm also keeping track on Storygraph. I know it's like duplicitous to have Storygraph and Goodreads, but they both do different things for me. Also, I mean, I'm probably going to fully switch over to Storygraph at some point, but for now I'm doing both. I also have spreadsheets. Don't ask. I like to track things a lot. So I do. Next question is 1001 Arabian Nights. Have you read any stories from the Arabian Nights? Do you have a favorite? If you haven't read it, do you want to? I have not read any stories from Arabian Nights. I don't have a strong inclination to read any of the stories. I mean, if I happen to come across one, I would read it, probably. But like, I'm not going to seek it out, I don't think. A Thousand and One Flavors. Do you have a favorite food or flavor? So, okay. My favorite food of all time do not judge me. They're tater tots. I love tater tots, okay? They're my favorite. And I know you're thinking, Robin, you're a grown-ass woman. And you know what? This grown-ass woman makes grown-ass decisions, and that decision is that tater tots are my favorite food, and if I could have them all the time, I would. But as a smart, responsible grown-ass woman, I do not. Not great for my insides, you know? I need, like, nutrients or something. Go figure. A Thousand and One Pages. Have you read a book that is over a thousand and one pages? Is there one that you recommend and is worth the time? What is the longest book you have read? I have read a book over a thousand and one pages. I think it may be A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. I really enjoyed that one. I mean, if you're going to read it, obviously you have to read the first 
four books before that one. So, but I think it's worth a read. Now, if you're waiting for that sixth book, I can't help you. Is it coming? I don't know. Does anyone? A thousand and one buckets. Do you have a non-bookish bucket list? And what is one thing on that list? I do have a non-bookish bucket list. One thing on that list is to visit as many countries as I can. I've only been to like a few countries at this point, but I'm hoping that the world opens back up and I can go to more. I need to travel. I'm tired of being here. I hate this panini. A thousand and one numbers. Do you have a lucky number? Is there a story behind it? I don't have a lucky number and therefore there is no story behind it. I just, I don't. A thousand and one authors. Do you have a favorite author and or genre? Is fantasy my favorite genre? I don't know. Probably I do read a lot of fantasy, but is it my favorite genre? We're just gonna leave it at yes, it is for now. And as far as favorite authors, Malcolm Gladwell is definitely up there. V.E. Schwab is a fantastic writer. I love her writing. Christina Lauren, they're always a fun, I don't know that they're my favorites, but I love their books so much. And I always have a fun time with them, except for the Honey Don't List. I did not have a fun time with that. I don't know who did. It should have been called Honey Don't Read Me. But that's not what this video is. This is not a rant, a rant review video. A thousand and one activities. Do you have a favorite outdoor activity? I'm very much a water person, swimming in a pool, swimming in the ocean, boating, laying out near the water on a beach somewhere. That's me. That is my outdoor activity. Do I like walking? No. Do I like skiing? Uh, no, I don't like being cold. But water sports, beaches, you got me. That's it's me. Those are my outdoor activities. A thousand and one book clubs. It's a question for Miss Reads a lot. Comments. Should she start a, a thousand and one book club with a book a month for a read along? Sure. At this point, I now want to know if she's done it or not. I'm probably going to go find out. A thousand and one friends, tag some people. So I'm going to tag Ray from Bookmark Chronicles, Dash from Mythic Pages, Steph from Stephanie Bookish, and Jashana, and Steph from Steph's Bookish World, Paige from The PM Reader, and Nat from Nerdy Nat Reads. And that's all I have for you guys today. And until next time, bye.